everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a really cute little one. I love this project, it includes this little robin. And uh, this, this whole combination can be done with any container and actually any, um, any of the foliages and flowers. So super fun to do. I'm gonna show you how to put this together. Okay, it's gonna take a few sets. So I'm going to actually use this container. This is the Southwest set. I'm going to use the little bird, the little robin, from the flowering mailbox. The branch, the branch from the clay pot, we're gonna use that. And then, of course, our foliage and flower set, we're gonna use the tiny grass and the vine, and the little filler flower. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start out by stamping the, uh, the basic image, so I'm just gonna put it on my clear block. And because that little pot is yellow, we don't want to have too much color on this, so we're gonna end up stamping it off. So I'm gonna stamp it, I'm gonna ink it, excuse me, with the sepia, because we are gonna make this a color, but we don't want this too dark. So I'm just gonna take another sheet of paper here and actually stamp it off a couple of times and then add it to my paper so you can see it's very light. So now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to uh, pull the color out of the lines, just like, we know, just like we always do. That's always the first step. So we're just gonna drag this color out of the lines here. You don't need very much water, and especially when the image is this light, just a really small amount of water. Okay, that's a good start. So now we're gonna take some color and add it to our palette. This is just the plastic palette, uh, so just an acrylic, plate. This is a number 43 Brilliant Yellow. We're going to use a number 13 Ochre. And then we're going to use just a little bit of this number 6 Brown. And we're going to start by adding some color to this little pot. Start with a lighter color and water it down. Always better to start with it light and gradually go darker. So just start out by brushing some color on here. Make sure to leave that center open. We have to allow for that highlight or else our container is going to be flat. So just kind of carefully drag this over. Just let it fan out and get lighter and lighter as it goes towards the center. And then do another layer. A little more color on here. And just drag it over. So you're really just applying it to the sides and then dragging it over to the center. Okay, now that we've got that done, let's grab some of this darker color. This is the ochre, and we're gonna start at the sides again, and we're gonna drag this color over. So we're gonna concentrate this darker color on the sides. Drag it over to the center, and we're just gonna pick up a little bit of this brown, just a little bit, and just put it right on the edge. Just right on the edge of that container. Okay, so let's take our blue, our little blue highlight, and put a little of that on our palette. This is number 50 Ultramarine. And I'm just gonna use the very tip of my brush and do a really fine, thin line across the center. Okay, and there we have that part done. That was easy. So now let's go to adding the flowers and the foliage that are inside. So I'm just gonna use a piece of um, post-it, a post-it note, and just cover that pot so that I don't stamp over it. And I'm going to now ink the, the little branch. This is actually from the fall set, but it's really, really versatile. So we can use it um, even with the flowers. So I'm gonna ink this now in the 72 green. And then I'm gonna come back over it with a sepia, just in the widest part. So only in this part here. I'm just gonna add a little sepia to that. And then I'm going to just stamp it into my pot. Okay, just like that. Don't add any water to it yet. We're gonna do that later. So now let's add our foliage. This is the vine. So just the vine from the um, foliage set. And we're gonna ink this now and start adding this in. This is the fun part. And just, just start out by putting this foliage in kind of where the, the branches are. Sort of follow that where it would naturally go. 
You still want to get it in there a few times. This is um, this is this is more like accents, so you don't need to stamp it over and over five times because it's pretty open in the center. So we're just going to get it in there a few times, and then we're going to add the water. And these are tiny little lines, so you want to carefully just add the water to this. Don't make this little branch wide, so don't add a lot of water to it. Just kind of leave that alone. And you're just dabbing, so just dab at these little leaves and these little vines. So fun, so all start coming together. These stamps are all so versatile. There's just so many combinations, and now we're getting more and more sets, so it's just like the sky's the limit with what you can do with these. Just really fun to try mixing uh, different sets and trying new combinations. I think that's one of the funnest things about this. Okay, so we've got our little our little bush in here. So let's um, let's ink our grass now. This is the little tiny grass. And we're just gonna put a little bit of this grass now inside, just inside this little pot. Add some water to it. And just kind of pull that, that color up. Let's add a little bit on the bottom now, just a little bit. And a little bit over on this side. This is a really simple little image, and so it doesn't, it really doesn't require a lot. Sometimes the simple ones are the funnest to do. They don't all have to be super elaborate. Okay, so now let's add the, um, the little bird that's on here. So I wanna make sure that I am getting it in the right place, so I am gonna use a positioner one of the few times that I do, but sometimes after going to all this work, uh, you don't want something flying off of the edge. So I am gonna ink this now and use my little T-square. I love this little mini T-square. It's just, it's so nice and it travels so well. Just easy to take with you. So I've stamped that now and I'm just gonna put him right here on the edge of this pot. So I'm just gonna put my little L shape back in there. Ink this little guy again. and just stamp this back in the corner. And we will have him exactly where we want him. So let's add some water to him now. Start by pulling it out of the wings first, and then a little bit on the tail. This is so tiny that it just doesn't take a lot. And then grab some of this uh, brown and just add it to his little chest here. Might take a couple of coats to get that really, really red. In the meantime, while that's drying, take your fine tip and really darken the little eyes here and the little beak. That makes a big difference. Let's just add a little bit more of color to his chest. So cute. And you could even water that down even more and just add a little color to his his little cheek here. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty detailed. But just add a little color to his cheek. So we've got this little guy done. So let's add our flowers now in here. And we're going to be finished with this project. Quick and easy and so fun. So I'm just using the little uh, filler flowers now from the foliage set. And I'm just going to ink a few. So I'm just gonna ink a few. These are little blooms, so I don't need to have this uh, really dark. I mean, I don't need to have this really big, I'm sorry. Okay, remember in a circle. Count one, two, three, four, five. Even a small little bloom, you're still gonna go, uh, you're still gonna count one, two, three, four, five and stamp in a circle. And let's add some water. This this marker has a lot of color in it. So if you notice that your image is getting too dark, wash your brush off and pinch it off and do it again. Even if you have to do it for each one. Just so that you can make sure that you don't color it all in solid, 
you want to kind of leave those white areas so we have the idea of the blooms, not, not a big blue blob in here. So just touch these little, these little blooms. So cute. So fun. You can do this with any container. Uh, you can do this with uh, any flowers. Love it. Love this color palette. So cute. Let's just put a little shadow under here. And we are finished with this project. Make sure you sign and date. This is your own work of art. And there you have it. Frame it, put it on a card, give it away, and it brings somebody some joy today. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.